reading is from Isaiah chapter 43, reading verses 1 to 3a and 4 and 5. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. Because you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, St. Andrews. On this, the day after Epiphany, and the Sunday of the Baptism of the Lord, we remember some significant days of new beginnings. The new beginning of a year. The new beginning of a reminder of our baptism as we come on Sunday to remember perhaps an event that most of us do not remember when we were baptized. We may not remember how we felt, especially if we were an infant or a small child. We may not relate to the significance of that day in our life or the life of our parents or grandparents. But on Sunday, we will be called to remember again our baptism. And we will hear that baptism at least as Jesus was baptized, was only about a new beginning. It wasn't about church membership or the entry point of being a part of a church, at least as Jesus was concerned. Jesus' baptism was about belonging as he heard his Father from the heavens say, This is my Son in whom I am well pleased. And so may our baptism on Sunday be a remembrance that we belong. And as these words are spoken and read, may it release something in us that is powerful and deep, obeying the word of our Lord Jesus Christ and confident of his promises. We baptize those whom God has called In baptism, God claims us and seals us to show that we belong to God by water and the Holy Spirit. Let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament. May we pray. Loving and living God, in the dismay and distress of the world around us, and the rise and swell of disease, discord, anger, and anxiety raise within us the awareness that we belong to you, and that in our belonging we have a new beginning every day and every moment of that day. 
May we take this day with a new sense of awareness of your presence and your peace. In the strength and courage of Jesus, our risen Lord. Amen. Go in peace.